I'm gonna show you the full setup in this video. This is a pathfinder. Okay, this is what the character is chasing after. So you have to add this to your bus model. As you can see, there's two. I have two uh, passengers, but you can also attach the other passengers to this same parts. You just need to add it to the script. Okay. So two is enough, if you have three doors you put three so that your characters can enter different doors that looks more realistic and this is the location for the bus, event on location, this is the location of boxes, as you can see that green box there, I hope it's visible there by you guys, okay, that's the platform, it's not attached to the platform and the platform is um, a separate rigid body where only the characters can um, walk on, they can't walk on the road unless I attach the road also to the script as a rigid body platform uh, but not now and I don't think I'm gonna do that because I don't want the characters to walk around on the road they're not gonna walk on the road okay but otherwise that is a skin mess it's default I'm gonna play the level so you can see I'm gonna have a bunch of um, reloading on this levels because that is how you tweak your game okay so you can follow along if you are busy with the vehicle game picking up passengers and stuff also a train simulator whatever um, I'm tweaking this this level I want the characters to enter the bus flawlessly without any problems okay so let me first adjust everything I'm gonna unhide it yeah, by display the uh, volume if you go to the properties of the component you'll see there's a checkbox so now you will see it in your game view when you play your game okay i'm gonna unhide everything so you can see my setup the full setup all the mechanics and the components used in this uh, game engine this is everything is default i didn't do any scripting guys I'm not a scripter, I, I'm trying, I'm teaching myself how to do scripting, especially JS, you're a game designer, graphic designer, whatever you need to do scripting, that will make your visualizations more popping out, you know, so yeah, let me just show you guys, now the bus is entering the event on location, it is triggering the timer, okay, each character have his own timer, different time set, so they don't uh, uh, rush off to the bus at the same time. As you can see, there's the first passenger, he's getting in. There's a second passenger, and he's moving in. Um, the other thing I want to tell you guys is my platform where the character is standing on is not, it's not uh, right. I need to create a different platform where the bus also drives on that platform because then your characters won't have any problem entering the bus because at the moment they can't walk like I said at the beginning they can't walk on the road so if you stand too far from the road they won't be able to get close to the event on location if, if it's too far from the bus the player will also see that you will notice that as you can see there he's following his, his event on location the pathfinder he's following that pathfinder He's going for the pathfinder and he looks suicidal because he's just jumping off the platform. But anyway, um, there's a bit, bit of bugs going on here. As soon as I play around with the pathfinder, my bus physics is bonkers. It goes bonkers. So I'm gonna... That is a group component you use that to group um, a bunch of components together so you can move it around okay it's not to attach it won't move as the character moves it only helps you to move a certain amount of components around in your in your environment i'll show you i'm going to attach the fish skin the skin of the the skin mesh i mean the skin mesh of the character in the rigid body that's the only two components i'm going to move around i didn't unhide the rigid body of the characters it was um, something i forgot but i'm gonna do that in this video for you guys but let me just have a look if the character is gonna go for the pathfinder and if he enters the bus correctly okay so i'm pulling up to the platform 
I'm gonna create a different platform in SketchUp. This one is even too small. Okay. Now the timer is activated. All timers and they're gonna move for the way for the way uh pathfinders. There you go. Okay, there's the bug as you can see. I didn't tweak nothing there, but the character don't want to enter the bus. So I need to find out what happened. I'm gonna move around some of the components inside of the bus, especially the waypoints. Let me just check here, everything is looking good. Rigid body character check when entered. Okay, let's have another go. Parking too far from the platform or too close from the platform doesn't really matter. Like I said, if you are on top of the platform where the characters are standing, they're supposed to... Okay, it's not right yet. Let me check passenger 2. Yeah, and then they won't have a problem entering this bus. Because I think this um, event on location is too far. It's, it's too far from the platform. That's why they can't. I don't want to leave it on the platform. Detach it from the bus. Because if I leave it there in front of the road, as soon as they enter that, that event on location, same thing with the bus. They're gonna disappear. Okay, they're gonna enter the bus. But I don't want that. I want them to follow if I move to a certain location they need to come to that certain location by that door I don't want them to disappear halfway in the bus when moving to the bus I want you the player to see is, is like disappearing where, where the bus doors all the doors is that is why I put the event on locations there the skin mask wasn't on his proper position okay there you see the rigid bodies, that, that is the things moving around. If you don't know what rigid bodies is, I have a video in my tutorial explaining to you guys. Okay, I'm not gonna go into that in this video. You can watch that video in my channel about rigid bodies and skin meshes and stuff. Okay. So, um, I'm gonna reload this level over and over again until I get a proper system everything works properly as you can see it's not right and then i'm gonna compile this program uh, this uh, project and i'm gonna use it as a prefab because i'm not gonna create this characters over and over again because i have a, i think i have a um i have a couple of bus stops i think there's about eight bus stops on this road they are already there that's why i'm saying um, i have a lot of work to do but i'm not gonna do everything over again i'm just gonna make a prefab of this project and merge it inside into this project and then i just put them on their rightful positions and i can pick up all the passengers and maybe rename them give them names and stuff okay pop-ups or the tickets um early access is is really um it's really tough because the the, the storyline is the first thing you need to concentrate on so there's the the group component it's a bit small i'm putting it inside of the character and i'm gonna just move him again you're gonna ask yourself why is that character again standing there but i just moved it because i'm reloading this level i have a bunch of projects in my on my hard drive i don't want you guys i don't want to expose my stuff okay it's some um, projects that i haven't shown you guys yet and i'm busy with i'm gonna upload some videos so yeah i don't want to distract you from this tutorial and the reason i blurred out my hierarchy that is the same purpose the same reason this is not the tutorial i'm just showing you what i'm doing as soon as i find a better way for this mechanics i'm gonna make the tutorial so that you can do it flawlessly without any of these problems i'm showing you what i'm going through before i upload a video for you guys so it's not easy it, i make it look easy but it's not i'm just cutting out all my faults some of it i'm leaving because that is the faults i know you guys are gonna run into especially these ones okay everything all of your previous uh, prefabs are sorted but as soon as you import more and more and more stuff and you start 
uh, twitching here and twitching there something else bugs out so i'm showing you how to get around it okay as you can see the character is standing again on the same place because i reloaded the level i didn't tweak it yet i'm just checking that everything is still on the proper positions and places and then i'm gonna go out and i'm gonna tweak it again upload load the level again do the same thing over and over like i said until i find a solution and it works and then i'm gonna play the video for you where it's done but this time i'm showing you from start to finish how i'm putting this mechanic of letting characters enter and exit the bus okay oops oh i almost fell off there but as you can see the hydraulics on this bus is nice I haven't put a lot of gravity on it, but I mean the star, the, the hydraulics look nice. That pass for physics. Okay, there the one goes now. Ah, uh, uh, you see there? It's not, it's not right. Even that one. So I need to play around with this pathfinder. And with the event on location. Let me push it out a little bit. Maybe that will encourage the character to walk into the event and location box. Because sometimes the Spotfinder can be too far away. There is a radius in its uh, pro uh, property dialogue that you can change. The radius is... It also works pretty nice, but I want to leave it like that. I think it's on a 50, 50 radius. So let's have another run and look what's happening, what's going on. You get quite tired of doing this, but after a nice bath, nice meal, and you go sleep, when you wake up, you are fresh. Believe me, that's how I do it. If you're not persistent, you won't achieve anything. You must really be persistent in doing something and eager to do it. Don't give up so easily. It's just a game engine, it doesn't break nothing. It only takes away a lot of your time, but believe me, it's, it, there's value in it if you use it in a proper way when you have all that knowledge. Right, so I saw there now that um, the Pathfinders doesn't make any difference, so I need to play around with the event on location. Yeah, I think I need to play around with the event on location. Let's have a let's play again. I think this is gonna be my last run. And I'm gonna hop over to the event on location and see if I can do it here and see maybe that will work. Okay. The event timers has kicked in. Nope, you see the distance uh, from the the distance of the bus, it's too far from the curb, from the platform, the bus platform, bus stop. So that is why I think this event on location is not properly set up. Uh, it's not properly set up. Let me just first move in this pathfinders on the proper positions. I feel the the the, far, the further I put the pathfinders, the better they will move into the event on location, because that event on location, its origin is in the center. So you don't don't think that if the character just touches that box, something's gonna happen. No, its origin is in the center. So you you need to get that character in the center of that box. That is how I I learned that from this game engine. I had a very good look at it and that is why most people don't want to use it because they don't understand how the components work. There's no bugs in it, you only create bugs. Just follow the scripting, there's a bunch of help files here in this program also. Uh, I think this program is already dead. 
but if I can introduce it to some beginners that don't know how to do coding and don't have game engines or don't like copper cube, there's also this one, but there's no jump function in this game. Oh, that is the only problem, there's no jump function. You'll have to do some scripting there. Um, there was a tutorial on YouTube, I don't find it anymore. This guy created a jump function, but it didn't look so realistic to me, you know. Just some force, he added some force to the rigid body. Event on input, when you press, then it just goes up into the air and comes down again on its own capacity. So no, that is a no-go. But otherwise, if you want to buy, uh, create racing games, wow, I'm telling you, I'm, I have a game, I'm busy with the F1, I'm gonna upload it, I think, just to show you guys, to encourage you, just to try out this game engine, I'm not selling it really, I think it's useless to sell it, because it is already free, I won't gain anything out of it, just to, to show some of you guys out there, like I said, some new game developers that want to start off making games but you don't know how to use Unity and all of it. This is a nice game engine to start up. Don't just jump to Unity. If you feel you have that IQ, you can go ahead. But for those people that don't know how to do um, coding and working game engines, this is a nice, nice uh, starter pack for you. If you want, you can ask me in the comment box, I will leave a link in the description then for you, I will give you the link for this uh, website where you can download it absolutely free. Okay, and then you can also comment me if you want me to make some tutorial videos on how to help you on using this game engine, adding characters and importing your models and stuff, okay. So this is now my 11th, uh, wait, this is my 12th attempt, yes I write it down here in my notebook, this is my 12th attempt, and, okay, I need to push it out a little more, the event on location, you see there, I need to push it out a little more, or I can park closer to the, to the, um, to the platform the bus oh i'm getting tired <laughs> to the, the bus platform but i'm gonna rather move this out just for argument's sake and so that this tutorial don't come out so long okay but otherwise it should work properly now all right let's see there you go now we have two passengers, we can go and drop them off by the next bus stop or wherever they need to get off. I must put in the map, I forgot to put in the map. Okay, I'm gonna put in a map so you guys can see how this terrain looks. This is only the, the road, there's a bunch of roads. Uh, I, I import them piece by piece, that's why I said you need to subscribe to my channel. Um, so that I can notify you, you need to ring that notification bell icon so I can notify you whenever I upload more videos like this. I'm gonna show you guys how to use this game engine, you don't have to subscribe if you don't want to. But if you feel you want, you are interested in knowing how to use this game engine, I'll, I'll make a bunch of tutorials, but I need to be notified by you also in the comment box. That's why there's a comment box, you guys don't even use it. Okay, 85% of you are watch watching my videos but not subscribed. You always come back to watch. I don't know if you don't like me. Or maybe you just don't like my videos. But at least subscribe because it helps me and other creators out there. So they can see my videos. And they can also be inspired into using my type of systems. And you know. It is all I ask, it's free to click that button. Just click it, you'll see nothing will happen. Okay, right, and if you like this video and if it's helpful so far, please smack that like button. That will also help the, the algorithm putting out my videos there. Okay, so right, I'm just gonna play around with the cameras. Everything is sorted in this video, guys, so uh, you can just follow along if you want to. You can keep on watching, but um, everything is done. I'm just gonna shift around some things for the game. This is my first bus stop. Okay, that is gonna be my depot. 
here where I'm now, where I just started off, that is a starting point. This is my two first two characters I'm gonna pick up, not two, I'm gonna pick up like a couple of them here, maybe four or five of them. Okay, move along, pick up two, then three, so we're gonna earn money, we're gonna be able to also buy bigger depot for you, go to different levels, go to cities and all of that. So yeah, there's a bunch of videos I'm gonna upload. I'm gonna do all of those things and make videos about it. Tutorial videos and also walkthrough videos showing you where I made my faults and things I stumbled upon that can also help you guys to create your game much quicker. I'm not done with Copper Cube. I'm just serving the nation because there's a bunch of you. Everyone need to cater to everyone. I'm um, unfortunately I can't help you with Unity and Unreal Engine. I'm, I'm running on a 4 gig uh, RAM, a 2 gig display graphics card. That is not graphics. That is just a display card. It will um, it op opens Unity, but my projects and oh man, I want to give you guys nice quality videos where you can visualize, you can see everything, you can hear clear. You know, especially on a real engine, I'm really heartbroken. I can't use unit uh, Unreal Engine 